Hi. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was having lunch with a client of mine, a friend of mine, uh, Roman. He's uh, maybe the smartest man on the planet. Uh, he may not be, but he may be. I think one of those real smart guys. But um, we were talking about things, and uh, one of the tweets that I tweeted, or whatever you do with tweets, uh, was a quote by Henry Ford that said, uh, pretty much all of history is bunk. And I have a tendency to agree with that. History is written by historians. History is written, written by the victors, the people who win the wars and stuff. And, and I think that uh, within my lifetime, maybe even, Mr. Bush will be seen as a great president, uh, even though he is a warmonger and a uh, killer of innocent babies, but at some point some biographer will say, gee, what a great guy, because he was the president of the biggest nation in the world, or the most powerful nation at this point in time, maybe. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, I was talking with Roman, and uh, a few years ago we did a month long in Hawaii. And the month long, uh, there was a man that I worked with, his name was Poe, uh, and one of the things I do month longs, and uh, I do what I want during the month long. People pay me $8,000 for me to do what I want because that's what I want them to learn and I can't learn them by lecturing. So but at any rate, Poe and I became friends and uh, he got talking and he's quite a thinker. He's a hermit and doesn't have much to do with people but he said, you know, I think that the planet has been um, uh, devastated by nuclear accidents in the past. And I thought, hmm, I've never heard that before. And, and he said, here are some sources, and then, uh, of course, as my life works, my friend Simon uh, Hathaway said, oh, I just saw a book, uh, An Alternative History, uh, something like that. I'm not sure the name of it. I apologize for that. If I find the book, I will do a video so you can get that. But it went through, how about some of the um, societies that we, you know, Lemuria and Atlantis, these mythical societies, mythical societies, it's... Uh, the Greek mythology I have an easier time believing than a lot of the religions that are real. Uh, but these mythologies, these mythical places, uh, one of the things he said was they did exist and they got to a plain place of nuclear um, usage and it's what undid them. And this book said it and it went through how they had discovered this and then it said, look, if, if we do end this planet from a nuclear point of view, which, I don't know, Japan's still spewing in case you're not catching the news that's not being released. You have to go out and look for that. It's, it's still spewing and irradiating planet Earth. Uh, but uh, at any rate, if there were a nuclear holocaust or a nuclear holy cow, or however you want to call that, uh, and everything stopped existing as we knew it, you know what I mean? Uh, computers would be found maybe years later and they would go, oh, there was an advanced society, but they wouldn't know what to do with them. Right? Their advancements will go in a whole different way. And so maybe history is repeating itself. Maybe it is, uh, maybe it has happened. Maybe history is bunk. Maybe even that part of history is bunk. Maybe history doesn't exist. Maybe the planet didn't exist before you were born. Life is confusing to me sometimes. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com